Do you know how cajones are made? Hello everyone, Felipe here from cajonmaster.com. Today I'm going to share with you my visit to a cajon manufacturer. The company is Abueno Percussion, located in Malaga, south of Spain. It was a great experience and I've learned a lot about the cajon making. So, without further ado, let's go to Spain. the view of this place. I was welcomed by Antonio, the owner and CEO of Abueno Percussion. Antonio explained to me all the concept of the company and showed me the history of Abueno Percussion and why he started to make cajons in the first place. The company was created in 2010. Carpenter by profession and with more than 25 years of experience in the world of wood, Antonio has managed to combine his craft with his hobby as a percussionist. He made his first cajon to play with his group and from there he hasn't stopped until today. A bueno philosophy is committed to make the cajon bigger and bigger within the family of percussion instruments. The company not only makes cajons, but is also engaged in teach how to play them, offering cajon flamenco classes in the facility. A bueno percussion also created an annual cajon festival with concerts and master classes with big names of the flamenco music. There is a lot that goes in make an abueno cajon. I had the pleasure to visit the workshop where only Antonio himself and another artisan make all these beautiful cajons. The cajons are 100% handmade and fully designed by Antonio. Before showing to me the process of making the cajon, Antonio showed the different types of wood he used in his process and how he combines the materials to achieve the specific look and sound of each line of cajons. This is to Okay. Es una mezcla de dos, de dos maderas para hacer la parte de atrás. De, de atrás, costado, sí. arriba lo vas a ver y te van a, te van a gustar sí. mucho. Sí. Claro, una, dos, tres, cuatro y cinco. Qué lindo. Tony was very kind to present to me the step-by-step -step process of making a cajon. To show this process, he used the materials he normally uses to manufacture his basic line of cajons. The first step is to select and cut the four parts of the body of the cajon, the top, bottom and the sides of the instrument. Then he put them together and wait until it's fixed, to then continue the process. Now Antonio explains a bit how is his workflow in the workshop. No, nunca hacemos un cajón desde cero. Hacemos como pequeñas cadenas. En un momento, por ejemplo, estamos chapando, en otro estamos lijando, en otro estamos barnizando, en otro estamos cortando. Vamos haciendo todo al mismo tiempo. Now it's time to install the back plate. That one with the circular hole cut in the back. After the structure is assembled, he starts sanding a little bit. Now let's talk about the front plate, or tapa in Spanish, the main part where we actually play in the cajon. It's very interesting to see this process of the front plate. Antonio tells how he combines and creates different textures of wood for Abueno Unique Designs front plate. Mira, mira, estas chapas, estos tienen diferentes capas de madera. ¿Ves? Okay. Estos son capas de madera. Y después nosotros vamos chapando, les chapamos. ¿Ves? Esta es la chapa, 
que nosotros vamos pegando a la, a la tapa. Este es el modelo Quejío de la serie de Maestre. Después también tenemos este. Este es el modelo, este modelo es el modelo, el modelo de la serie Noble. Que esto está chapado, tiene una chapa así, vertical, otra así y después otras así horizontales. It shows how unique the instrument will be for each one that purchases a cajón a bueno. Now the finishing part with more sanding and more sanding. And the cajons are ready to be played. This is a cajon flamenco type that comes with adjustable strings in the inside. It is not showed here how the strings are placed because of course, this is one of the secrets of Abueno percussion. We take care of our cajon as if it were a piece of art. We don't see them only as an instrument. We try to create cajons with personality, where the design is not only a decoration, but the essence of Abueno's philosophy. That was just the part one of my visit. The second part, where I test out all the cajons, will be available very soon here on YouTube channel. Stay tuned for that. I'd like to thank Antonio for being so kind and open his house for me. It was a great experience. I hope you liked this video. If yes, click thumbs up. Leave your comment with suggestions and questions and opinions about this video and others and what you want to see here on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you very soon in the next video. Bye.